السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اسٹوڈینٹ ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیو ڈسکس آن دا ٹاپک لیور اینڈ دے کائنڈس لیٹ اس ریکیپچولیٹ دس ون دیر از لیور دس دیز آر دا سم کلاسیفیکیشن آف لیور ڈفرینٹ کائنڈس آف لیور کلاس ون لیور کلاس ٹو لیور کلاس تھری لیور So what I said in previous video, just remember flea, F-L-E, flea, okay, F-L-E, if fulcrum is between effort and load, then that will be the first class liver, if load is in between fulcrum and effort, that will be the second, if effort is in between fulcrum and load that will be the third class liver okay so these if fulcrum is in middle first class liver load is in middle second class liver and effort is in the middle that is the third class liver so these are the some kinds of liver now we have discussed the examples of liver so many examples are there let us uh, analyze or uh, analyze the examples of liver okay these are the first class liver these are the first class liver look at this these are the example of the first class liver look number one is seesaw here this is the fulcrum in the middle okay and one load is here and effort is inside in the either side load and effort so if fulcrum is in the middle load and effort either two side that will be the first class liver okay your friend is sitting here okay or uh, your friend is sitting here then you are pushing you are uh, giving your effort so this will be the first class liver now here look at this plier plier here is a fulcrum that is a fixed point and here some load are there load okay you have to cut this rod with a load okay now we are applying we are applying effort to cut this one okay so this plier will move on this fixed point okay pliers now look at this seizer here yeah, this one seizer look the paper paper is a <clears throat> load now fixed point this fixed point is a fulcrum and we we are applying a force that is effort to move this scissor to cut the cloth clear so this point is a fulcrum here hand pump look at this hand pump the water coming out from this side that is a load this in this one is a fixed point this one is a fixed point fulcrum and we are pushing up we are pushing down okay that is we are giving effort to this hand pump then what happen we are is giving uh, applying force in this direction then the water comes in upper in upper direction so this is the first class liver so these are the some first class liver here one shear is also there metal shear metal cutter okay these are the metals that is the load in the middle there is a fulcrum we are applying effort here okay just like scissor so this will cut clear these are some examples of first class liver crowbar look at this a very heavy load heavy weight so we are putting some stone or any other thing okay so that will become a fulcrum that will become a fun fulcrum look at this this one is a load okay this one is a load we have to lift this load by using effort at this this end so here we put some stone or any other thing any rigid body 
this will this will work as a fulcrum so when we apply effort so this will be lifted in upward direction okay why load in the downward direction because the weight will be directed towards the downward direction towards the center of the earth okay clear same this this one and this one is the same okay i hope uh, do you, you understand this uh, example these are the first class lever they are the first class lever spoon bottle opener is also same the spoon used to open a lid here this one this is a cap which is acts as a load here we are applying force and here at this end this end is a fulcrum clear now these are the examples of second class levers look at this wheel barrow in second class lever f l e f l l means load load in, is in the middle here in wheel barrow fulcrum is at the end and load is in the middle here and we apply force to move this wheel barrow okay so here is the load here is the fulcrum and here is the effort so load is in the middle that is the second class lever clear mind it second class lever is work as a force multiplier by applying a small effort a small force we can lift a huge load okay here look at this bottle opener we are trying to open with our teeth or any other it's uh, too much difficult to open this coldings bottle okay but if we apply small force with this machine this simple machine that is the bottle opener just a small effort we are applying in upward direction then this one is a load and this one is a fulcrum that will be movable point fixed movable point okay fixed point where the this machine will be moved so it will be move it will be open easily by applying a small force here look look at this nut cracker nut cracker is a not a nut are there in the middle that is a load this side is a movable fixed movable point this is a fixed point where the this object will be moved so this is a fulcrum and we are applying the small force okay so this nut will be break or cracked clear so these are the some examples of second class lever hope you understand one more example rowing a boat with a long handle oar look at this here we will move this rod move this rod or stick in upward direction then what happen this will go if you move upward this will go downward okay and the water water will move backward okay the boat will move in upward direction here this one is a fixed point that is the fulcrum okay so this side is a load this side is a effort we are putting effort our work is to just push this water if you push this water in this direction okay by applying force in this direction what happen the boat will move ahead so this is also one of the example of first class lever sorry this is the first class lever okay why because this is the fulcrum is in the middle fulcrum is in the middle okay so rowing a boat with a long handle oar that is example of the first class lever clear in third class lever there will be effort is in the middle effort is in the middle here look at this effort is in the middle and fulcrum fulcrum and load is either side okay now look at this this is a sugar tongue sugar tongue or fire tongue or fire tongue okay now there is a sugar that is acts as a load and here is the fixed point that will be the fulcrum and we apply a force at this side like this so this will be hold the load will be easily hold okay 
grip okay so fulcrum is at the one end load is at one end we are applying force at the middle clear this is one of the example of the third class lever sugar tongue or we can say fire tongue okay there is chimta chimta we say in hindi clear third class lever is the mechanical advantage of the third class lever if you see in the previous video that mechanical advantage is always less less than one and if mechanical advantage is always less than one then that will be the speed multiplier speed multiplier look at this here some examples sugar turn the four four arm we'll see the four arm used for the lifting a load action of the bicep muscles fire tongues foot treadles knife a spade used to the lift coal or sole fishing rod very important fishing rod these are the examples of the third class lever look at this knife here yeah, this side this side this one is a load okay this side is a fulcrum we are moving and here we are applying effort okay so like this okay we are applying effort with that this point this is a knife look at this this is a fishing rod uh, this is a rod and this one is a thread and there is a wheel are there so we will just roll the wheel and what happen the wire or the thread will go down okay so fish the load is that side and here is the moving point that is the fixed point fixed moving point okay so this side is the fulcrum and effort we will use effort here by just simple rolling this uh, uh this this wheel so the load easily can goes up with a small effort with a small effort and also with uh, uh, faster that is a third class lever is a speed multiplier now look at this examples of each class of lever as found in the human body number one class one lever in the action of loading of load look at this this is our head so this side the chin this is the load which will which we bent okay and this side is a fulcrum and here with the help of this spine we can use we can apply effort with the help of this spine we apply effort that's why this load this our body this uh, this uh, head load will going down or up by applying force here so this is one of the example of the first class lever why because ful fulcrum is in the middle okay that is the neck okay and with the help of a spine this spine we are using effort going down or up clear now next example is here rising of the body on toes look this side this one here this one is going up and down up and down okay so this one is acts as a fulcrum fixed moving point and here by the help of this muscles this muscles okay fit muscles we are applying force okay and this one is going down down or up this one is lifted or put it on the ground okay this one acts as a load this one fulcrum by applying force with the muscles force it will go body will go up okay by applying effort so load is in the middle that is the second class lever very very most very very important example that is class third lever okay raising of a load kept on the palm with the forearm forearm is a third class lever look at this this side is a fulcrum okay and here is a load if you want to lift some load so we are applying force with this muscles okay so the effort is in the middle i sorry effort is is, is that side fulcrum is in the middle and load is either side so 
these are the some examples of levers from our body clear hope you have understand please read the this uh, topic in detail from your book thank you